Hi, this is Linda Whitup, Director of Technology Services for Tech Impact. Today we'll discuss licensing options available to nonprofits for Microsoft Office 365. Microsoft has generously donated or discounted their business and enterprise level licenses for nonprofits. On the screen now you'll see the four options that are available to nonprofits. Starting on the left, the Office 365 Business Essentials is a full donation. Those licenses will not cost a nonprofit any money, up to a maximum of 300 users. The next one, Office 365 Nonprofit Business Premium, is at a $2 per user per month deep discount, again, up to 300 users. The third one in line, Office 365 Nonprofit E1, E stands for Enterprise. The Enterprise One, again, at a full donation, available for unlimited users. And our last is the Office 365 Nonprofit E3, which is discounted to $4.50 per user per month. Um, once again, unlimited number of users in that donation. So let's take a look now at what's included in each of these license options and talk about what would be best for your nonprofit. So you'll see on the screen here that the Business Essential comes with, and we can go, um, we'll start at the top of the clock and work our way around, document storage using OneDrive for Business, business class email using exchange-based email, your users get a 50 gigabyte email box, each user. File sharing using SharePoint Online. Financially backed SLA, meaning that Microsoft will guarantee an uptime of 99.9% .9 availability. HD video conferencing using Skype for Business. An intranet site using SharePoint Online down around to the 7 o'clock position, Office web apps, the ability to use Outlook, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, and OneNote online without having any software installed on your computer. Simplified IT management, a portal that's available to your Office 365 administrator, IT person, Office administrator, so that you can manage your own users, licenses, permissions, etc. 24 by 7 technical support from Microsoft, directly from Microsoft. You can call or email support online. And finally, Yammer. Yammer is a social network that is a private social network available to all of the users within your enterprise. So these are all included. Again, the Office 365 Nonprofit Business Essentials is a full donation, so your users up to 300 will get all of these features. If we move to Business Premium, so I'm going to sit here on the Business Premium, you can see that added to our circle of, of um, options are down at the 530 position the mobile apps for Microsoft Office 365, and then at the 630 position, Office desktop applications. What does this mean? Office 365 Nonprofit Business Premium is available for $2 per user per month. That $2 payment to, directly to Microsoft allows that user to subscribe to the Microsoft Office Suite, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Publisher, OneNote, Outlook, those, all of those titles that you have in the Office Suite, downloadable on up to five computers or five workstations per user. And it also gives you the, the ability to have the mobile app. The mobile app allows you to edit Microsoft documents on a tablet or mobile device. So that's a subscription that's available. So for, you can basically rent that ability from Microsoft for $2 per user per month. 
So here's the difference between the nonprofit business essentials and the nonprofit business premium. In the essentials, if you want to use the full Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, Publisher, etc., your organization, if, if you're eligible and meet the eligibility requirements, can obtain that office suite through TechSoup for an admin fee of somewhere between $29 and $40 per user. Or upgrade to the Office 365 nonprofit Business Premium and subscribe to that for $2 per user per month. So difference between business and this premium are the ability to use those uh, Microsoft Office applications and the mobile app. Now let's talk about nonprofit E1. Remember E stands for enterprise. Your enterprise um, gives you the ability to have unlimited users on the Office 365 suite. Again, looking at our wheel over on the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see that there are a lot of the features that we talked about, including the unlimited seats available in the Office 365 nonprofit E1. If we jump down to the E3 license, your E3 license is a $4.50 per user per month option. And guess what? The wheel is complete. All features available in Office 365 are available for the E3. So including the Office desktop application, the mobile app that we talked about with Business Premium, also available in E3. And the other thing that is available in E3 that I'm not sure shows here on the wheel are um, advanced email options such as encryption for email. So if you're in a if you're in a role that you need to send out sensitive or confidential information to external recipients via Outlook, you can encrypt that message so that the recipient has to go to a secure website to read that message also includes online archiving. So if you're a user who has the need to have a, an inbox that is larger than 50 gigabytes, you can, online, you can do your online archiving. Retention for legal hold purposes allows your IT administrator to retrieve emails from an inbox that had retention policy even if the user has deleted or moved those email messages. So there's a lot that comes with the E3, and again, that's $4.50 per user per month. So you've got two free offerings, the Business Essentials and the E1. And you've got two discounted offerings, the Office 365 Business Premium and E3, available to nonprofits. At Tech Impact, we recommend using the enterprise level when at all possible because your enterprise level allows you to do a little bit more, technically speaking, on the back end and gives you some flexibility in your licensing. So I hope this has given you some good information about nonprofit licensing available in Office 365.